What is popping out? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl T. So I realized I have been on YouTube for like two, three months and I have not done a get to know me tag and you guys know nothing about me. So I wanted to film one of these really quickly. That way you guys know a little bit more about me. Know, you know, what's beneath me. Well, not what's beneath me, like not the goods, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like beneath the surface. Anyway, okay, so before I get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel, obviously, and follow me on Instagram. And without further ado, let's get started, boo. Okay, so I have the questions on my phone. I think there's like 16 questions. So let me pull them up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, question numero uno. What is your zodiac sign? I am a Scorpio, aka the best freaking zodiac sign there is on the planet Earth. I was born November 12th, 1998. So I'm a Scorpio and I'm 21. Okay, question number two. What is your ethnicity? So I get this question asked all the time. You know, I'm a little foreign. I'm a little exotic. You know what I'm saying? So my mom is black, right? And then my dad is blacker. So that just makes me black. 100% people, 100%. I get this question asked all the time. Like People are like, what do you mix with? You have to be mixed with something. And I'm like, African mixed with American like I literally don't like people assume I'm anything else besides black okay next question is where are you from I am from Pittsburgh Pennsylvania how old are you I already said I'm 21 I'll be 22 in November do you have any pets so a fun story so as of like um, 24 hours ago I wanted a dog okay I've been so bored in this quarantine. I'm just like, I want a dog, I want a dog, I want a dog. And the dog I wanted was a miniature golden doodle, all right? So I had my mind set on getting this freaking golden doodle. I Googled the price. Do you know how much these dogs cost, you guys? Their average is 1500 to 3K. Who is spending $3,000 on a dog? The bitch don't even talk. Like, no. So I was like, oh, damn, maybe a fish. I Next question is, are you in college or did you attend college? And if so, what was your major? So I was in college for a year and a half and I absolutely hated it. It was complete garbage. I just had a terrible experience. Only thing that came out of it, I meant to love of my life. Shout out to you, boo. But everything else, shit. So, you know, I'm not in college. I am planning on going back to school. And I've had like so many, I can do like a whole college video because I, I thought I wanted to be a nurse. I thought I wanted to be a freaking anesthesiologist. I thought I wanted to be a respiratory therapist. I thought I wanted to be all these things. <laughs> I don't. So I am going back to school for public relations and advertising. So, yeah. Mm -do 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 -do. Most embarrassing moments. I don't know probably I guess recently I had a pretty embarrassing moment so right before COVID-19 aka the end of the freaking world I was at a club right and my biggest fear let me tell you guys my biggest fear when it comes to clubbing one throwing up if I ever throw up in the middle of the club I promise you guys I will never go out again in my life that is my biggest fear I'm not talking about like going to the bathroom and throwing up no I'm talking about on the dance floor throwing up in front of everybody that is my biggest fear okay if I just feel a little too drunk if I feel like you know my stomach is on a little one of these up oh, time to go cuz no I'm not even gonna risk it or my second fear is falling so before corona the club was closing they closed at like two here so I'm upstairs there's a uh, two stories to the club so it's upstairs downstairs so I'm a little I'm a little, I'm a little drunk you know what I'm saying I'm a little uh, stumbly stumbly so I'm walking down the steps and I'm wearing a dress, mind you. I'm walking down the steps. Boom! That's what I did. I did boom! Bitch, I fell down the damn steps. In a dress. In a freaking dress. In front of everybody. I was so embarrassed. I was like, damn. And then I woke up with like scratches all over my knees. I was like, oh my god. I literally fell. I hope nobody saw the goods. Because I was literally wearing a freaking dress. And I, I can't guarantee that. I fell gracefully so that was probably the most recent embarrassing moment and I don't really get embarrassed too too easily so I really can't even think of another moment but that one was like 
And I was just so embarrassed because I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna come out next week and they're gonna be like, aren't you the girl that fell on the steps? Hey, aren't you the girl? Hey, I saw your coochie. Like, I, I don't know, y'all. I, I was just thinking <laughs> so many different types of things. So then Corona happened. So hopefully nobody remembers. <laughs> Um, do, do, do. what are your goals in life? So, um, definitely YouTube. I have wanted to do YouTube since I was in high school, and I was just always waiting for the perfect time. And I don't know. So, one of my main goals in life is to do YouTube, but if that doesn't work out, then, like I said, I am going to school for PR and advertising. So, my dream job in that aspect, I guess, would be um, to just work in public relations or advertising for like a Shea Moisture or a Cantu or like a fashion brand. That'd be my dream job. But I guess other than that, you know, I just want to be happy. And I know it sounds cliche and corny, like I just wish to be happy, but I do. I think people take for granted happiness and I think people don't realize how challenging it actually is to be 100% happy with yourself, with your life, with your decisions. And I just want to be able to live a life where I don't look back and say, oh my God, I regret not doing this. Or I should have done that or I should have went there. Or I should have done this. I just want to be able to say I live the best life even if i don't have the most the most amazing things in life even if i'm living in a one bedroom apartment for the rest of my life i want to be able to say i am happy and i am content with my decisions that i've made so yeah that's all that really matters to me happiness <laughs> um what is your favorite movie honestly you guys i don't like movies i hate movies actually because I have an issue with it ending and then I'm like dang what's next I really don't like movies I'm more of a show person I'm more of like a binge watcher so I don't have a favorite movie I'm trying to even think of one that I mean I don't even know I guess one that I, I don't know if this is a movie I don't know if this is a movie I don't know if you guys are this as a movie but this is the most recent thing that I've watched I would kind of count as a movie but don't F with cats on Netflix that shit was bomb, okay? I was like, oh, oh, like the whole time, I was like, oh no, he didn't just cut his arm off. Like I was, it's a great movie show, whatever. I guess it's it's a documentary, but I would count it as like a movie. So Don't Have for Cats on Netflix. It's a little weird at first. I was like, damn, these people really gave up years of their life to look for a cat killer, but just, you just gotta watch it if you haven't. It's, it's bomb, definitely recommend. Um, What is the next question? Do you speak any other languages? So I take, I take, I barely speak English, bitch, okay? So I took Spanish from 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. So like five years I took Spanish and I know how to say hola, como estas, me amo, pollo, which is chicken, huevos, which is eggs, um, margarita, mojito, but that's about it. So yeah. Um, what is one thing that you cannot leave the house without? These bad boys right here. Hoops! Hoops, 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 hoops. I love hoops. I don't care what I'm wearing. If I'm wearing sweatpants and a hoodie, I'm gonna still put on some hoops. I love hoops. So those are the one thing that I cannot leave the hoop, the hoop without. Those are the one things that I cannot leave the house without. I'm actually gonna do like a hoops and earrings collection because I have so many, but yeah. Hoops or like just some sort of earring. I don't know. It doesn't have to be hoops, but I love hoops the most. Um, what is your go-to hairstyle? Probably like a slick back bun. I have this tutorial on my channel. I will link it below. But that's probably my favorite hairstyle because when my wash and goes look like shit or when they're like frizzy and a hot ass mess, I can just do a sleek bun and look like a bad bitch again. So that's my favorite hairstyle. What is your biggest pet peeve? Probably when people stare, you know, I can be like super happy, like, oh my gosh, life is great. And then when someone stares, I'm just like, can I help you? Like, I hate when people stare. It's one thing to just, you know, do a quick glance and keep it pushing, but no, when you do this, y'all can see how bad my lashes look. <laughs> Bitch, I'm so learning, but when people stare like that, it just sends me. It sends me. I hate when people stare. It's my biggest pet peeve. And when people don't have manners because I hate when I hold the door for somebody and they just walk on in like, bitch, are you forgetting something? Hello? Starts with a T, ends in a U. 
I hate that. That will send me. That maybe said that. That probably sends me more than people staring. Like. <laughs> Especially in the club when people don't say please and thank you and excuse me like bitch your white claw make you lose your manners Because I'm confused So those are my two biggest pet peeves I'm almost done with this. I'm out of breath. Do you have any bad habits? Um, I get annoyed really easily. I don't really have a lot of patience That's something I've been working on because I'm trying to be more like Jesus Jesus, 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 Jesus I love to praise Christ. Christ, my father, my savior, my everything. So I'm trying to be more like the OG. So I'm really trying to work on my patience, but it's really not working. So maybe one day. <laughs> and the last question is, what is your dream state to live in? So I don't really 100% know. I kind of, I kind of want to move to Florida, but I don't know. It's kind of like hot there. Which, I mean, coming from the north to the south is like, obviously it's going to be hotter. But I think that's like a big difference in climate. So, maybe Florida. I've been thinking about Georgia. I've never been to Georgia, though. I also been thinking about Texas because they have beautiful homes. But I've never been to Texas either. So, I don't really know. Definitely not here. Somewhere. Somewhere far away. But those are all the questions, you guys. As always. Swing, snap, rock. Did you guys see that TikTok? You see that TikTok? Okay, so there's this TikTok going around. This doesn't matter. Anyway, never mind. I'll tell you about that another time. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. My camera's dying, so bye. <laughs>